A lot of heavy hearts at Gunstock Mountain Tuesday morning after a day on the slopes takes a tragic turn. It's certainly a tragedy and we feel for the families involved. Guilford Fire Chief Stephen Carrier says the 911 call came in just after 12 o'clock Monday afternoon. An ambulance and an engine raced to the scene. And we're met by ski patrol with a, uh, a patient that had some serious injuries, including a head injury. Uh, the patient was transported to Laconia Hospital and uh, subsequently transferred to Dartmouth. The patient has been identified as 15-year-old Sydney Quimby, a freshman at Guilford High School. Principal Anthony Sparazzo sent this letter notifying the school community of Quimby's passing. For us, it's, it's, a, it's a sad thing. Our hearts go out to the family. It's, it's a difficult time for them, and the entire Gunstock family is extremely saddened by this incident. Tom Day, president and general manager of Gunstock, says Quimby was skiing down the mountain when she went off the Duringer Trail. She was initially comforted by some of the skiing public on the scene until Gunstock Ski Patrol arrived at the scene shortly thereafter. It's a difficult day not only for the people here at Gunstock Mountain, but also for those first responders who answered the call for help. Uh, I was just in contact with the safety services director and uh, they're setting up a debriefing and they've invited us to participate in that, um, which I think some of our members will take advantage of that. The Guilford School District says three school counselors, a crisis counselor, and two psychologists are also prepared to help students, staff, and anyone in town who is grieving this loss. Reporting in Guilford, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.